you know, when people ask me why I love boxing, right? I always try and defend and I say I love it because it is, I love it because of that. I love it because you get to see different styles, I love it because I like knockouts, I love it for many different things. But there are times where I absolutely hate this sport. I absolutely hate it with a passion because you see absolute BS like I've just witnessed with Lewis Ritson versus Miguel Vasquez. Miguel Vasquez won this fight by an absolute country mile. The Sky Commentary team, Matthew Macklin included, I think he had it 118, 110 to Lewis or to um, Miguel Vasquez. I think I had a 119, 109. And yeah, you, you've three British judges, right? And Terry O'Connor needs to never grace a judge's corner, a boxing ring ever again. Because how he could look at a fight like that and only give Miguel Vasquez three rounds is absolutely absurd. That is one of the most absurd scorecards I have ever seen for a fight. It's right up there. Seriously, it's right up there with Floyd versus Canelo, the 114-114 scorecard by CJ Ross. It's right up there. Um, what I saw was Lewis Ritson look horrific. He showed the kind of fighter that he, he is, which is a very flawed fighter. He is slow-footed. He's always had slow feet. When he was down at 135 pounds, he's blaming it on the weight cut. That's not going to change. You have slow feet, you have slow feet. Miguel Vasquez moved around the ring very well, used good movement, was jabbing, was throwing shots to the body. Whilst the shots were not necessarily landing, right? They were, not, they were landing, but they were catching gloves, but a lot of them were getting through. Lewis Ritson was fighting with a shoulder square, with gloves up, who was taking all them shots, who was swinging wide left hooks, who was swinging a couple of right hands. The only success he had in parts was from his jab. For the most part, he was catching air. He wasn't landing anything. He wasn't landing any shots to note. I didn't see, apart from one or two jabs, I saw him land no shots to note. I didn't see him do anything, you know? And at the end of the day, he was in there with a fighter, and this is the funny thing, he was in there with a fighter who was moving all around the ring. And his corner never... Lewis Richards should know himself, never even remotely went to the body. Didn't, just ignored Miguel Vasquez's body. This is the second time in two years I've seen Miguel Vasquez robbed on a UK show. He was robbed against O'Hara Davis. He's now been robbed against Lewis Ritson. It, it, it's in, I, I just don't know what to say. It's just ridiculous. Like It's just absolutely ridiculous at this point. You know, what more does he need? What more does the guy need to do? Seriously, what? what what, what, more does the guy need to do in order to get a decision? Like, I, do you know what the thing is, right? And this is, makes me kind of annoyed. It's because the corner of Lewis Ritson were not animated. They were real calm the whole way through. By the end of the fight, they were like, oh, there's only one winner. Yeah, there was only one winner. His name was Miguel Vasquez, you fucking idiot. I had to say it. And um, obviously, they maybe they knew something that we all didn't. Lewis Ritson, a British level lightweight, was tearing through guys. He was tearing through guys like Robbie Barrett, Scott Cardle, Patrick Hyland. No disrespect. These guys couldn't even... <sighs> Fights between the three of them would all be competitive. If you're, if you're even a little bit better, you're going to have a field day with those guys. I mean, Scott Cardle is punchy beyond belief. Robbie Barrett, who did he win his title against? I forget who won it, but he already had a couple of losses at the time. And obviously Patrick Island again, he's been beaten before and since. Fights Patero, loses. That was a split decision as well. And moves up to lightweight, he's not looked particularly good. And he's lost this fight, you know. On the scorecards it will say he's won. He lost the fight. This is not whiffs or butts. And um, this guy we're talking about world titles. I mean, look. Look, people. No. The, the, the man... Like, even look at the top five, right? Look at Jose Cepeda. Look at Regis Progray. Stick Victor Postal in there. They would all light this guy up. You've got Tio moving up, regardless whether he wins or loses. They would... No. No. Uh, oh. He ain't going nowhere near a world title. This is not me being... This is a fact. He looked terrible in there. I can't believe they gave Lewis Ritz in this fight. Again, as I said at the start of this video, I love boxing, but there are times I just hate it. It's just such... A ridiculous, a, that Terry O'Connor, someone for the love of God, 
he scored the fight with Parker and bloody um, Fury 118-110. Although I thought Parker won it. Ridiculous scorecards. He also scored, I think it was Callum Smith versus John Ryder. I think he had the widest scorecard for um, Callum Smith. I mean, the, the man is just... <laughs> Jesus, man. I Honestly, I, I don't know. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Considering Matthew Macklin, right, who is the most pro matchroom kind of guy you'd meet other than Tony Bellew, had 118, 110 to make Al Vasquez go, come on. Come on. Oh, what can you do? What can you do? Um, is what it is. Robbery of the year this year. That's the, He had the robbery of the year last year of Vasquez. He's the robbery of the year this year. I mean, God damn it. The man just... I feel for the guy. That's it. I feel for the guy. I really do. Um, can you do? Can you do? But yes, that's my thoughts on this. Smash the like button. I'm going to bring this video to an end here. So I, I think I've been nice and calm. Um, smash the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe, of course, if you guys are new to the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like as always. Subscribe, of course, if you're new as always, people. I will talk to you. Peace.